Gatsby, guess what? Today is a special day because I finished my diet and fitness program. Yay, Gatsby, we're done. We're done with the fitness program. I did two custom diet programs and I thought I would share with you guys my results. Today is January 10th and I am starting on my eight week program. In November, I got Invisalign. When I started my Invisalign treatment, I started losing a lot of weight. I lost a lot of my gains. I definitely saw a lot of my gains decreasing, which is why I decided to go on the diet. We'll see in eight weeks if eating well and eating properly will make a difference. I wanted to gain a lot more muscle without gaining a lot of the other kind of weight. That involved me eating a lot more proteins as well as a lot more carbohydrates. For breakfast, we get four eggs. We have three pieces of toast, two slices of bacon, and one banana. It's a lot of food. Going to Nutrition Palace to get my body scan in. Arm straight, no bend in the elbow, and then away from your body. So yep, just like that. Just an update, it's been three weeks since I started on this diet. So my weight went up, I guess, only four pounds. My skeletal muscle mass, which is basically your actual muscles, went from 84 pounds to 88 pounds. So I gained four pounds of lean muscle. So I noticed the most gains in my legs. I think it's just because I've been doing a lot more leg stuff than usual. My custom plan involved me eating six meals a day, <laughs> which was so hard to do. I was eating chicken or turkey, a lot of vegetables. <laughs> Ta-da! So we have some for lunch, some for later. I was so full all day long, and then I was like, oh, it's been two hours, time for me to eat another meal. <laughs> I did like an almond milk, almond butter protein shake. We're done with the workout, I'm so tired. I've been noticing quite a few gains. I've also been doing like a diet plan. I'll talk about it in a little bit. I'm doing like a clean bulk right now. This is me on April 9th. As you can see, this was about the biggest I got. My shoulders, especially when you compare that to my original one, my shoulders and my arms got a lot larger. Every day uh, after eating, I was just like, oh my gosh, I feel so full. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Of course, when the gym's closed, I had to stay at home and do the fitness plan, which was a lot harder to do. I got to 178 pounds. When I started cutting, I started losing weight, so I dropped down to 175. So altogether, I gained 13 pounds. And this is where I am today. So about four months ago, whoo! I finally did it. Those were my results. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been craving pho for the longest time, so I'm gonna go and get that. How's so pho? so excited, that looks so good. Oh my gosh. My pho dreams are about to come true. The soup, oh they even, oh they put it in here. Basil, jalapenos, lime, pho soup takes like forever to make. It's a lot of hard work. Oh, I'm so excited. That looks so good. I'm like trembling. It's gonna be so yummy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so good. These rice noodles are so good too. And it's gone. Gatsby, is it time for us to start the vlog? <laughs> Crunch. What do we have for this week's Corgi Crunch? Bok choy, Gatsby, for your Corgi Crunch. And now it's time for this week's Corgi Crunch. And that was this week's Corgi Crunch. Gatsby, are you gonna help me feed the fishies? Here it is, fishies. Get ready for the food. There we go. Best day ever, food day. Which is every day. Now it's time to water the plants. I'm gonna stick them in the sink. There we go. Just a little water for you, you, for you, for you, for you, for you, you. This guy, this one, for you, for you, 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 you. 
More water for you, dude. You, 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 you. This guy over here. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. This, one. this guy here. Yeah. For this guy here. This one here. Here and here. We're done. Remember this. It's time for us to do some corgi movie charades. Gatsby, you're gonna act out a movie and everyone in the comments below, write down what movie you think Gatsby's acting out. Okay, here goes. Did you guys figure out what movie that was? <laughs> Today we are gonna hit some back and some arms. I just picked up a new bench, which I really like, check it out. And so we'll be using this. Let's get the workout started. Gatsby. I'm just gonna drink my protein shake, go on a run, and then take Gatsby out for a walk because Gatsby already told me he does not like to go on a run with me. He's like, no run for me. Bye Gatsby. Oh, hey Gatsby. You ready to go out? Is it time to weigh you? We gotta see how much you weigh. He weighs 32 pounds. Gatsby, you gained a little bit of weight. So I've been working on this puzzle so far for 13 hours. And we got pretty far. I got Gatsby's full face. We got a lot of the main things. I think I'm done with almost all the strawberries. I have like a few left. I guess in the last vlog, a lot of you guys were like, wait, where, where, when can I get these puzzles? The puzzles will be available at corgionfleek.com. Hopefully they'll be done by the end of the month. As I mentioned in the last vlog, we are also gonna be restocking with small restock of the Japanese corgi t-shirts. So if you wanted to get one, make sure to be ready for them when they are launched with the puzzles. Do you see that? That's you, it's like life size. <laughs> it's like put the ball inside the machine. Make the ball go shoot out. But you can do it yourself too, you know. Put inside, you do it. You do it, no, you do it. You try, you try. Good boy. I'm gonna play some video games while Gatsby plays his own puzzle game. We're playing some Splatoon 2 right now. We're playing some Rainmaker. That's the mode. Okay, we gotta get this guy. Get him! Yes! Okay, you guys, go! Come back, come down this way, come down this way! I'll get him, I'll get him, I'll get him. There, one, two, three! I got, oh, one more! Oh, we got him! We got, I got him all! I got them all! Go! You guys, go! 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 We won! Yay, Gatsby, we won! He's watching me. I thought I would celebrate the end of my diet with baking since we haven't baked in a really long time. Some people suggested that I make some banana bread. A strawberry banana bread. <gasps> Ooh. We're gonna preheat to 350 degrees. Banana bread is considered a quick bread. What that means is that you don't need to like wait for the yeast to rise or anything like that. You can pretty much just throw it into the oven. That's why it's probably one of the easier breads to make. You're supposed to have a uh, loaf pan. I don't have that. I only have this. I also don't have any cooking spray. We're gonna have to do it the old fashioned method, which is just butter. We're just gonna butter the tray. 
take some flour, put it on here. Next, we're gonna mash up two super ripe bananas. Next is our strawberries. Have you guys made banana bread? I heard that banana bread is the top most searched for recipe during the pandemic. So just to add three tablespoons of flour to this. We want the strawberries to get coated in flour. The recipe will be in the description below. We'll see if it's any good. Okay, now we just add everything to a bowl. Pretty simple. So to our bowl, we're gonna add one egg, half a cup of light brown sugar, a third cup of canola oil, a quarter cup of regular sugar, a quarter cup of sour cream, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And to that mixture, we're gonna add one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of baking soda. Also half a teaspoon of salt. Whenever you have like a flour and you mix it really hard, it actually starts developing gluten strands, which makes the bread a lot tougher to eat. Of course, you can break the gluten strands by adding a lot more fat. Fat is also known as shortening, and it's known as shortening because you're shortening the gluten strands. Next, we're going to add the bananas. Just gently incorporate it. Now we're gonna add it to our pan here. <laughs> it flattens out all the air bubbles inside. Okay, so this is to bake this in the oven for 55 to 60 minutes. You are one of the most handsomest corgis ever. <laughs> it's like, I'm ready for bed. Looks done to me. It looks like cherry. It's like really light banana bread. I prefer my banana bread to be pretty dense. This is more like a banana cake. This banana bread leaves a little bit to be desired. It needs like walnuts or something. I give it about a seven out of 10. It's not my favorite banana bread, but it's better than no banana bread. Yes, oh yes. Okay guys, it's time for us to go to bed. Gatsby is exhausted. Look at him, he's like, oh my gosh. The puzzles? should be available sometime <laughs> near the end of the month. I'm just waiting for the puzzles to arrive. I don't know how long that's gonna take though. Oh, I'm so happy that I'm done with my diet. To be totally fair, it wasn't bad and I'm probably gonna stick mostly to it. Um, but I definitely did crave a lot of things and it is nice to be able to eat food that's not the same thing over and over and over again. <laughs> Good night. Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan! Time to be alive! Place your bets now! Who do you think will win? Corgi or human? Go!